Good night, good night. How are you all doing tonight? It is uh, March 16, and tonight we are here basically to chit chat. It's a pop up show. You know, we have to have a topic, but I'm more interested in chit chatting with you all tonight, taking your questions and just having a good hour with you all. It's not been a rough day for me today. I started the day out a little not having it together if you know what i mean and when that tend to happen it tend to slow me down a lot like really really slow me down so when i have a rough day believe it or not when i want to de-stress it's just best to have a show because once i start talking to you guys it's like everything is okay like you know this is what i like once i start talking to you all it's like all the negative energy is gone. All the bad vibes for the day is gone. And I'm here with you all. And this is what makes me happy. So welcome to our pop-up show. And I hope you are all, I hope you all had a great day or is still having a great day and is having an amazing evening. So skincare, skincare, skincare. That's the topic. We're going to share some remedies on how to do the usual stuff by smoothing the skin, you know, getting rid of large pores, getting rid of dark on the eye circles, getting rid of wrinkles on the skin. But more importantly, I want to have conversation with you all. So what is on your mind? Let me hear where you're all watching from tonight. I am actually broadcasting from Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, New York. That's where I'm broadcasting from. And I could even go deeper, like in the Leopard's Garden section of Brooklyn, New York. So it is 7.19 um, p.m. where I'm at. Let me know where you're watching from and what time of the day it is where you're watching from. Hi, Jason. What time of the night it is for you? It's about midnight. Let me hear from you. Brenda, hello. Alanda watching from Trinidad. Enjoy. That's how it is sometime. Yes. Thank you for that comment. Keisha is here. And uh, Jill is here pretty early. Lioness is here. And um, same here in Trinidad and Tobago. So we're on the same time. Aisha, welcome to the live. And I'm not sure if I've seen you here before. This is your first time. Welcome. Hey, Joshua, I haven't seen you for a while. I know you called me Wendy Williams, and I found out today that you are a, a member of the channel. I was going through, and I was like, there is Joshua. That's the person that's always calling me um, Wendy Williams. Do you think I should try to apply for that slot to see if I could, you know, get to take over our show? I know I could do a good job. As a matter of fact, I always want to talk a to, to do a talk show. It was one of my dreams to be on Ellen show just for the, you know, I really would like to have a talk show. I know we could have a talk show on this platform, but I think the easiest way to do that is through like, um, what they call those things everyone is doing now. Um, somebody tell me what everyone is doing. Podcasts. Yes. And if I decide to do that, how many of you would want to come on my podcast like live? Nowadays, it's easy because we could have a podcast like this where you're right there in the circle. We could actually have you on. As a matter of fact, like tonight's show, how many of you would want to be on the show with us tonight? I didn't send a link, but I could get the link out to you right away if you want to come on. All right. So I'm just happy to be here, to be honest. I'm just happy to be on here to de-stress so we're going to talk about skin if you're into talking about skin i mean yeah, my week started out good on monday and started to take a turn at four after having a conversation with a co-worker and i have uh, and i have been in fixed mood all into today snap out of it you're right here and that is the reason why we're here tonight to also help 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 Hey, Shai Keisha, do you want to be on our live? I'm, I want it to be a fun night, guys. To be honest, I want to just de-stress, like just de-stress with you all. And as I said, you all do that. Maria Scott is in East New York. So that is almost walking distance from me. Yeah, I said walking distance, but I know it's a good walk. But yes, I could actually probably drive and take 10 to 20 minutes to get to you, depending on where in East New York you are. Now, let me hear where you're watching from, guys. And Jason, it is 
1219 in France. 1219. Thank you for staying up. Are you at work, Jason? Or are you um are you at home? Um, because if you are at work, I know that you are up. All right, so here is a little invite link. So I'm just gonna copy the link and I'm gonna go on email. I'm still here, guys. I am still right here, and I'm gonna send the link to myself. And then I'm going to send the link. And yes, messages is sent. So if you want to be on the show, just um, send for that link right now. And you will get the link. Let's see if Lioness is here. Lioness, if anyone sent for the link, you can send it for me, please. Pretty please. Who want to be here tonight talking with us? Jill, I don't mind you coming on over. Jason. If you're not already in bed, and even if you're in bed, you still could come on. Who else is here? We want to talk about skincare. If you're just joining us, you know, you're here, especially if you're new and you want to learn about, you know, getting rid of wrinkles and fine lines and all of that. We're going to do that tonight. But we also we also don't mind having a few of you on talking about your skin. Mari Scott, haven't seen you for a while. Welcome. Now that I take a note of your name. And we have um Jame, J-A-N-E-Y, Rumble. Oh, this sounded pretty familiar. Watching from Jamaica, G Clarkston, watching from the Bronx, and um, Breakable, Miami. And um, I know you're watching from Jamaica, Keisha. Who else is here new? If you're a new comment, Brenda J, welcome to our live. Okay, so we 619. So we want to add you all in Jamaica. All right, so first thing first, if you want to be on our show tonight, I, I know you, you you keep putting rubbing it in. I mean, we know you're watching from the Sunshine Island of St. Martin. St. Martin. Um, Miss Cherie. Um, Amina, is this restaurant still around? I think it's Miss Sherry. It is right in the corner of what you call that place now. Hmm, 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 hmm. Can't remember exactly. Uh, but anyway, there's this Miss Sherry, and they have like live music and uh, banana beanie or banana beanie, something like that. They used to have this kind of uh, get together at night. Okay, let me tell you exactly where it is. It is right on the beach where you could watch the jet blast. So that beach right there that you can just go there. I, I think they close it off now. I don't know. I mean, you live there, but you could just go stand up on the beach right there and you could watch the dread blast and people do it for fun to fall over, roll over and all of that. So right to where the airport, right? So Miss Sherry, I think is the name of this restaurant. Really nice music, live band. Don't know if it's still there because I know COVID and a lot take a lot out of... um a lot of these um, restaurants. And we have someone watching from Glasgow, UK. Glasgow, Glo, Glasgow, UK. And I actually know all of these names, these um, places in England. UK, let's say UK, because it's, you know, UK, it's all of that combined. And the reason why is because some of you might know I'm Jamaican. And when we were growing up, that one of the map that <laughs> were taught in school, believe it or not. So not only that, those are places that I personally used to read upon. And maybe because, you know, I'm, when you go to school and they're actually teaching you the map and all these places like Scotland and, you know, Ireland, that's outside the UK anyway, but all of that section over there, I get fascinated by it. So, um, oh, it's up for sale. Oh, man. Anyway, that was a fun time for us there. All right. So you're right. So that is why when I get these names, I always like repeat it because it's like it just ring a bell in my head. Also, Glasgow is in Scotland. OK, thank you for that correction, because I know that, you know, all of those names, all of that fall on, on, on that map right there. Somewhere I really, really want to go to. Never been, never been to Scotland, but I certainly hope I'll get a chance to do it. Cynthia A, Queens, New York. And this is not our Cynthia now. This is a different Cynthia. Cynthia A, watching from New York. All right, so we are moving on. And uh, since we don't have anyone signing up for our live, I'm going to talk about skin. So first things first, how many of you are still steaming your face? 
If you're still doing your facial steam, go ahead and comment, comment, comment. If you're still steaming, if you're new here and you do not have a skincare routine, comment. As a matter of fact, how many of you really and truly have a skincare routine? If you have a skincare routine, go ahead and comment. We have Nasifi, Naf, Nafisi watching from Iran. Welcome to the show. What time is it where you are watching from Nasifi? So we have G. Clarkston still doing our steaming. How many of you are really, really doing your steaming? Joy is still doing steaming. How many of you have a skincare routine? If you have a skincare routine, comment, comment, Karen. Hi, Taren. Welcome. Better late than never. And we have um, Amira. I do. Very good. Diana still do. All right. So that is basically a big step towards getting your skin to look good. Believe it or not. And uh, years, um, way back, centuries ago, steaming was the thing. It was the thing women used to steam their face to look beautiful nowadays it's creeping back in it's like it had taken a back burner and i think that people have gotten so busy with life and all of that they didn't think that they could just miss skip that step but once we start by getting to natural natural skin care all of these things start to just start happening as a matter of fact steaming the face used to be i would gotten to the stage where you only get your face steam when you go to the spa. Now, because everyone is doing their own DIY and people realize that you don't have to have millions of dollars to get your face steam. You can do the steaming in the comfort of your home. We are now going back to steaming. Whether we're using a facial steamer or we are using a, a pot of water or we are using our kettle or we are using just about whatever is even a wash rod we're now steaming steaming can you let your new subscriber know the benefit advantage of cold water on the skin thank you so much for that margaret first of all let me ask you because sometimes i come on on here believe it or not and i just start chatting away okay so stephanie go ahead the benefit of steam I, okay stephanie so since you are an esthetician and you want you know uh, the benefit of steaming I am not. I just give advice. So why don't you tell them, Stephanie? Because I think that they would gladly appreciate you sharing, you know, the whole benefit of esteeming. So, Stephanie, you want to be on our live right now? It would be nice. As a matter of fact, do you want to be a guest on my show? Because, you know, sometimes I say things, but sometimes it's good to bring the professionals on. We have a live Sunday chit chat. If it is possible for you, we have a live Sunday to chat at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Sunday. It would be nice for you to come on and share some tips with us about skincare. You know, just bringing on a, a professional. So if you're all fun and game, then send me an email at chichibeauty at gmail.com. We could make the arrangement. You don't have to be in the studio. You can just come on, you know, at the side, like, you know, virtual, which is what everyone is doing. So, Stephanie, I'm going to throw my email out there. Just put it in bold caps. It's okay. You're not shouting. You're just writing for me to the, the, the email to draw my attention. So, it would really be nice. So, I am really inviting you on. All right. So, I was, as I was saying, so pretty. Uh, first time watching your live, the only skin routine I use i ever used was rice a powder all right guys so margaret thank you i see margaret is trying to get me back and track and i thank you for that because what i was saying sometimes i come on here and i see jill and i see you know um margaret i see keisha and everybody and i i mean and i just get excited and i start to go off not realizing that listen there's new people on the chat every day you need to go back over some of these things so steam in the face if you're new to our channel this is something that we actually encourage over here to steam your face regardless of your age it is very important to steam the face because what happened is that it have to open up those pores and when your pores are open it is pretty easy to clean the grease and dirt from those pores not only that when you steam the face it softens the dead skin cells on the skin and when you're ready to expose 
exfoliate, which I recommend that you do right after you steam. You steam and you then you exfoliate, or you steam and you exfoliate at the same time. That is going to clear the skin off grease, dirt, dead skin cells, and whatever black is and whitehead. All of that can just roll out once the steam hits the face. I personally recommend that you steam the face at least once or twice per week. That is actually going to help your skin to look better. And another thing that steaming actually do for your skin is that it helps your beauty products to work better on the skin. When your skin is clean, your pores are clean, and you have all these amazing anti-aging products that are rich in all the vitamins, the vitamin A, the vitamin C, the vitamin E, and even those omega-3 and electrolytes lights all of that can get to penetrate the epidermis just get right into your skin and do its job and on clean skin you get really better result from the products that you're using on the skin so definitely steam 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 so stephanie will do it for us so definitely send me an email so we can you know chit chat and organize this um this this kit this show with you on stephanie very thanks in advance all right so we are moving on welcome to all the new subscribers all right so first time watching that was from so pretty so that is what we recommend and if you want to learn even more about steaming your face you can watch our 25 days skincare challenge when you watch the 25 days skincare challenge it's actually gonna i actually share tips on it that you can custom to your skin type and you also will learn how to to know your skin type when you watch our 25 day skincare challenge. So definitely go ahead and watch the challenge. And um, once you do that, you're on your way to getting your skin to start looking amazing. Now, one thing I would like you all to know is that, oh, that was a call. It was a little, I should have answered that call, but it's okay. All right. So one thing I also want you to know is to start a skincare routine. Now, when I do my 25 day skincare challenge, I actually start like my first 25 day skincare challenge. I actually go gradually, gradually in adding things to your skincare routine. When you're just starting out, you could be a little overwhelmed, believe it or not. So I would like you all to just start by cleansing your face twice per day. When I talk about cleansing the skin, we're simply talking about washing and exfoliating the skin, okay? That is what cleansing is. But the first part of cleanse, step one for cleansing the skin is just to wash your face. You wash your face with a good facial cleanser or a good facial wash. Based, they are the same thing. So if you come across the word cleanser, it is facial wash. If, if I'm Jamaican, oh, yes. I, me a Jamaican, listen to me. Let me, let me be clear. I got criticized recently about the way I speak. I am Jamaican. I have been living here for 20 something, enough, enough years. Okay. I still have my Jamaican accent. However, when I try to speak Jamaican, like the real way, you know, where it's not mixed up with where I'm at now. Sometimes it sounds funny. And I remember I got cursed out once. I got cursed out, believe it or not. Even the way I'm speaking right now, someone cursed me out recently and told me to stop faking Jamaican accent. <laughs> yes, I need to stop faking Jamaican accent because they all know, people all know you're not Jamaican, so stop faking. No, I am Jamaican to the core, like, yes. Core, 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 core. So what I wanted to say just now, which didn't come off right, I was going to say, yeah, ma'am, yeah, Jamaican. But then it kind of sound, you know, like I'm faking it. But no, I am Jamaican and I don't fake my accent as some people um, was trying to make it out to be like, that was kind of rude though, like, you know, stop faking. And maybe it was a Jamaican telling me to stop faking my own Jamaican accent. Very, very funny. All right, so we are moving on. And um, adding gradually also at the skin to um, a a climate to the product. And that is so, so true. So back to what I was saying, um, 
we encourage you to start out slowly okay slowly and gradually add things so that when you get to the stage like me where you do everything and you're very comfortable with it and you're very versed with it so as i was saying you start out by cleansing the face now there is a little issue with cleansing face depending on where you live personally a.m. and p.m. is what I preach on this channel. That's the two times you should cleanse your face. However, there's going to be a time that you do more than the other. So let's say you're a busy person. Your morning skincare routine could be very light. But your PM skincare routine, which your evening skincare routine, you go all out and you really put in the work for cleansing the skin. If you have to run out, if you work in the afternoon, put the effort into your morning skincare routine and if, you know, and so on and so forth. You choose the time of day that you can spend more time. Now, the morning skincare routine, regardless, is totally different from your evening skincare routine. And that is the reason why you have daytime cream and you have nighttime cream. Your daytime cream should have some form of a SPF, whether it is summer or winter, spring or fall it doesn't matter once the sun is shining it can affect your skin so depending on where you live we all know that different country of different standard okay so what might be the correct the standard for spf in america might be different from wherever you live in europe whatever it is just make sure that you use some form of a spf that is the only thing that we don't make on this channel okay we don't do a diy um, SPF because your girl don't know how to measure it. Okay. And I take that very, very seriously. So I'm not going to come on here and said, you know, this is my SPF. It's at 60 when I really and truly don't know how to measure it. So I always encourage you to buy one for yourself. And when in doubt and you have no money, you can't do anything else, then go ahead and use some aloe vera gel because most time when you're going to get any form of a sun protection cream or lotion or anything like that is going to have some form of a aloe vera gel in it. So that is your best bet. So with that said, your morning skincare routine, you're going to use your skincare products that are geared towards your daytime. And it's normally a little lighter, okay? Because you're busy there, you're out there, you don't want this heavy oil or this heavy cream on your skin. So those normally is very light. But at night, guys, when you want to go to sleep, pack it on, pack it on, pack it on. And the reason for that is that while you sleep, your products get a longer time to stay on your skin and it will work on your skin and you'll get the best benefit on your skin from your beauty product. Now, this is from all my new subscribers or new watchers. If you're just watching, let me say something really, really quick, even if I'm all over the place tonight. Let me tell you how to layer your products. So I'm still going to get back to cleaning out your pores and all of that. Layering your products and don't be alarmed you know, step by step, but let me just give it to you. You cleanse your face at night and in the morning, twice per day. Um, after you cleanse, you need a facial toner. Now, a facial toner is very questionable. Some people like, oh, my skin don't need a toner. And other people like, yes, you need a toner. For me, I'm all for toner. And the reason why is because it helps to balance the natural pH levels of the skin. And when all of that is done, it allows the beauty products that you're going to use, like your serum and your moisturizer, to work better on the skin. And that is why I'm all in for a toner. So if you want, you can go buy a facial toner or you can use one that we make on this channel. A quick and easy facial toner is some rose water. I make some amazing one on my channel because those are what I personally use use on my skin now do not mix facial toner with an estrogen those are two different things a toner does not have any form of a alcohol and if you find something out there and they're calling it a toner which sometimes you do see it out there in the skincare world and it have alcohol it's not a toner it's an estrogen now what is an estrogen a estrogen is what you use to get rid of the last trace of dirt or makeup on your face and one very popular one is witch hazel however nowadays witch hazel because they used to witch hazel used to come on the toner now they change all of that because now they have um non-alcohol 
witch hazel because they were getting a bad rap about that so now make sure if you're using witch hazel as a toner it does not have you buy the one that does not have any alcohol now yes estrogen you wipe your face with a cotton pad or something you look at it to see if makeup leave on it and then you toss it and i encourage you to rinse after an estrogen however with a facial toner you spritz it on your face you let it dry and you do not rinse it off okay so that is the difference between an estrogen and a facial toner all right so once you apply that facial toner i personally like to wait about two to three minutes before i go and i apply a syrup now, serum is a big word for a lot of my new subscribers because most people just do not know the difference between a serum and a moisturizer, and some people just don't use a serum at all. So guess what? You do need a serum. Why do you need a serum? Ah, uh, serum, so many things. The serum have to repair the skin, and it's actually one of the most concentrated beauty product that you're gonna use on the skin. And I normally tell my subscribers that the way a serum work is just like you have a, your bathroom pipe and it start to leak, the face basin leaking, the the shower leaking, and you know um, the toilet bowl water draining in it, and you call in a plumber, and what the plumber does, the plumber repair all. Of that that's how the serum work on the skin a serum normally have to repair the skin it always is rich in antioxidant that have to reduce wrinkles boots collagen just smooth the skin and you're gonna find different kind of serum that do different things but it's always gonna be a repair I have to repair the skin also a serum is very very light way lighter than a moisturizer and most serum might not have much of a oil in it and you can research that most of the serums are like enzyme and fruit extract and these kind of things that is in a serum not something loaded with a lot of oil now after that serum then you're gonna have the moisturizer which is what most of you are accustomed to the moisturizer and the moisturizer is gonna tell you that they do the same thing but a moisturizer really have to hydrate the skin moisturize and keep the skin looking all plump and firm and some of them they they add things like like you know um antioxidant like retinol and these kind of things in it to further help to let your skin look good moisturizer normally have all moisturizer have oil in it okay whether it's going to be a light oil or a heavier oil and that is why you have day moisturizer and night moisturizer because the nighttime moisturizer is going to have a heavier or a thicker oil and the daytime moisturizer is going to have a lighter oil so once you apply your moisturizer then believe it or not you can have your facial oil on top of it and the reason for that that you're going to be like oh facial oil go all the way on top of the moisturizer yes because it's always heavier than the moisturizer so layered products on your skin you go from lighter to heavier okay now personally for me i sometimes like to just drop my oil in the moisturizer which you can you can also choose to skip a moisturizer especially if you're wearing a good serum and use an oil on top of that to each his own or you can just layer all of it on the skin sound like a lot okay however if you're just starting out my recommendation for you is to start with the three basic and the three basic is your facial serum your facial um your facial toner your facial serum and your facial moisturizer when you get comfortable with those three then you can start adding things or start out with your toner and your moisturizer and within a month or two you gradually add the rest of the beauty products and watch my channel and then you'll know exactly how to layer them and what goes what and before you know it you're like a pro and like you don't even need to listen to me anymore all right so now that is what's for my new subscribers let's see who is here Taryn, I realized lately I have nighttime product, but not any for daytime except my moisturizer. And the same toner you use in the in the daytime, in the nighttime, you can use it in the daytime. Um, Taryn, it works well, just the same. All right, Brenda, my cousin told me not to moisturize at night. That is wrong, and I'm gonna tell you why that is wrong. If you have dry skin. If you have dry skin, you first of all, first of all, you moisturize to keep the skin all hydrated, 
supple, soft, and just feeling nice. If someone is going to tell you to not moisturize at night, it means that you're using something else. Are you using an overnight facial mask or whatever? But anyway, moisturizing the skin at night is key. As a matter of fact, you can skip moisturizing your skin in the daytime and load it on at night because when you sleep that is the time these products get to work on the skin now a good night moisturizer a good nighttime moisturizer is gonna lock that moisture in the skin and most of the time they contain some form of a humectant and what is a humectant a humectant is an ingredient that allow the water their skin to maintain that water and allow it not to escape and because of that it keep your skin looking plump and fresh that is the reason why and i talk about this on my channel a lot people are now even slugging and what do i mean by slugging they are layering like petroleum jelly on their face at night and why is that so because petroleum jelly is a humectant that's gonna lock all of that some people are even going as far as putting their amazing serum on their skin and on top of that they're putting their petroleum jelly over it to prevent it the water from escaping to make sure all of that is absorbed in the skin now you might have heard that listen don't put all these kind of oil on the skin it's gonna clog the pores that is can be however if you follow the skincare routine by steaming your face exfoliating at least two to three times a week nothing is going to clog your pores your pores are going to be clean and open and when you apply these things on your face the next morning you get up you rinse off and it is all gone everything goes on then on people who complain that you know coconut oil is clogging their pores um thick heavier oils such as olive oil and these things are clogging their pores that is because they're not taking care of their skin the way they should by steaming and exfoliating and you know making sure that they apply the beauty products in a certain kind of a way on the skin all right so and yes hyaluronic acid is an excellent you make time Be belinda but sometimes let my skin breathe at night That's all I'm saying. Like, you're gonna let your skin, <laughs> your skin is always breathing. Whether it, whether you have a whole set of things on it or you have nothing on it, it is always gonna be breathing. In the time your skin stop breathing, it means yes, yes, yes. It's all over. It's all over. All right, so. I'm going to, I'm really going to write this down because I really want to dive into that. And I hope I remember. And if I don't remember guys, um, skin breathing. All right. So I'm going to address that in another show because that's going to take a while because I know sometimes when I get deep like that, people just hang up or click off because they don't want to hear the biological by biological side of skincare they just want the remedies and they just want to know how to wash their face and apply the things them on it so we're not gonna talk about that tonight but no put things on your face at night just put your stuff on well as i said to each his own if you feel like at night you want to breathe your skin to breathe then to each his own i personally don't agree with that i personally think that at night is when you need to use your beauty products on your skin because that's when you're resting and when you're resting you know everything works really 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 much better all right guys so th that little thing there that i just did was for all my new subscribers now listen there's so much more to learn about your skin so what you need to do is to watch my sunday show or come on over and watch some of these pop up or go and watch my 25 day skincare challenge you're gonna learn a lot more all right so what i was talking about earlier let's go to the topic a little we're sharing remedies that can have to get rid of large pores i might not need to go over the large pores since i was talking about um exfoliating and steaming now what really are large pores some of you already know some of you might be like large pores well you know the skin there's pores all over what happened when 
you shed the skin sheds every month like you know lizard or it formed that little white flaky thing it's there and the skin actually can get rid of it by itself however during that process sometimes we look at our skin and it's all looking all dry and flaky and all of that and we don't want that we want our skin to look really nice all the time so what we do we try to find ways to speed that process up and one way that you can speed that process up is to exfoliate the skin so let's go to large pores when you're out there in the environment the grease the dirt and that dead skin cell that I was just talking about, all of that start lodging in your pores. When that, especially if you have oily skin, uh, that's what happened to most people with oily skin, especially ex severe oily skin, do have large open pores. Now, all that grease and dirt is packed up in that pores. And the more you start, the pores start to fill up with the dead skin cell, the grease, the dust from the environment, it start to expand. It start to expand. Now, while it is expanding, there's two things can happen. It can turn into a blackhead if you do nothing to it. Or if you take your dirty hand and you touch and you to play on it, it can turn into something else, like acne's got a pus in, the, in it and break out and all of that start happening. You can prevent that by steaming and exfoliating, okay? So that's what we call large pores. When you look on the skin, you see all, some people you can just look and you see all those holes. What happened to those, they are the blackhead form and it is left there till it start to dry. And when it started to dry, it started to get smaller, smaller. I call them sinkholes on the face. Before I even know that there were large open pores, I call them sinkholes. And you're gonna notice that they have all these sinkholes on their face. That is because they didn't take care of the skin by steaming and exfoliating. So we encourage you to steam and exfoliate to clean those pores out, especially with you, when you have that oily skin. Once you start doing that, and the pores are clean, what is gonna happen? When we talk about get rid of the pores, they're gonna always be there, but they're gonna shrink back to normal size and then your skin is gonna look perfect, okay? So that is what you need to do. The base is to steam and exfoliate on the regular. Now, when it comes on to exfoliating your skin, that is one of the easiest thing you could do for yourself. And the reason for that is you can simply take some sugar. You have dry skin, Put a little olive oil and some sugar exfoliate your skin you have oily skin you still can use oil on the skin and for my new subscriber i will get into that you know let me do it really really quick the reason why you can use a little oil on your skin is because the reason your skin is producing all that oil is because the skin is getting the feedback that it is dry and because the skin think it's dry, it's producing the oil to keep it uh, moisturized. But when you use oil on the skin, the skin now feel that, okay, there's oil, so I don't need to produce more oil. And that's why you should use oil on the skin. However, I suggest you use lighter oils. Like grapeseed oil is a very, very light oil. It's not gonna clog the pores and it just go right and seep right into that epidermis. It's not heavy at all. So oil skin people, go ahead, use some oil, but use the lighter oils. If you want to know a bunch of light oils, just check out some of my videos, which we share. On our channel, we use a lot of grapeseed oil. And you know, we'll talk more about that for my new subscribers now someone remind me where i was because i just take a note and look at something and i totally forget what i was talking about angela around my eyes is very black and my face is dark and i have lines how can i get it out what can i use okay so let's listen to angela around my eyes is very black that means you have dark on the eye circles and I have lines, so you have lines under your eyes. That also comes with age and um, stress also. And it comes with a lot of things. And how can I get it out and what can I use? All right, so we're going to answer this question really, really quick. And if anyone on here can answer, go ahead and also answer in the comment. If you're new to my channel, we have a lot of OGs on this channel that basically everything I'm saying, they know it already because 
you know, we talk about these things all the time. So if one of my subscribers watching answer a question that you ask, I know most of the time you like when I personally answer the question, but 90% chance, whatever they answer, is going to be the same thing that I would answer. So go ahead, guys, and, you know, respond to some of these questions since I can't get to all. Now you have dark um, you, under your eyes is black and then you have dark under eye circles. Now, the very first thing that I recommend when it comes on to taking care of your eyes is to cleanse the area around your eyes. And a lot of people tend to not do this. How many of you go in the bathroom to wash your face and you like, you wash your face, you wash your face and you come out and you've, you're done. But did you spend that extra two minutes to clean around your eyes? You might not because you're not thinking that right here is totally different from the rest around here this is the most delicate area on your face so you got to put a different method to clean in this area from the rest of your face and that is why they make different products you know the beauty product the eye cream is different from your face cream how many of you is guilty of using your face cream as you're on the eye cream I know most of you do it. I know most of my old, old OGs might not be doing that anymore. So the first thing I would like you to do is to start cleaning your eyes, the areas around your eyes. I normally encourage people to get a washcloth or a wash rod. Yes, this is tissue paper, but I'm just, you know, using it this. So you get this wash rod. And I like a white one, to be honest. It could be any color. Why do I like a white one? Because I like to see what I'm removing. And you take that wash rag and you put your little finger like this, in it like this. And what I suggest you do after you wash your face, that is, you don't have to use anything on it, okay? You can just use pure water. If you want to use something, we have this discussion all the time, like, you know, because most of your facial cleanser might burn your eyes or irritate your eyes they do have makeup remover oil and stuff like that out there that is geared for eye remover blah 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 you can use that if you want but if you have nothing you take a wash rag and i suggest that you do the windshield wiper move just like that under your eyes it's only take a minute or two for each eyes and do the top two windshield wiper windshield wiper and you do both and that is not only cleaning off the excess dirt and dead skin cells under your eyes but it is preparing your eyes for your beauty product so once you choose to start doing that this clean what you need to realize is that just like here under your eyes do have all that dead skin cells okay so when you clean the eyes the next thing that you need to do is to make sure you get a good eye cream a good eye cream or a good eye serum or both we have a lot of diy creams and serum on the channel that you can try if you do not want to use ours go and buy one okay buy one and use it so what you do here is the trick when you are applying your cream or your serum and i'm going to get three to getting remedies for your under eyes that's going to help to clear the dark on the eye circles i struggle with that and i use parsley and i have a wide variety of remedies on my channel that you can try and mix together to have to get rid of dark dark on the eye circles we have some that you're going to use on for 30 minutes take it off and then you we have some that you're going to use overnight we actually have a playlist with most of my remedies for dark under eye circles puffy eyes and eye bag and the link is in the description box below you can click on the link below and you can find that you know search through and find one use one with parsley okay because that's what i personally use remember what works for me might not work for you but what do you have to lose absolutely nothing just go ahead and give it a try when you apply your beauty product your your eye cream i like to encourage you to use your finger make sure it's clean yes clean 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 and when you're putting it on first of all you just dab it on there like this dab it on there and then you're going to start to move fast with it why are you doing that but not uh, no pressure okay no pressure lightly dab it on there because you are also boots in circulation okay a special treatment for your under eyes and you dab that cream under whether you're using it to daytime or nighttime but definitely definitely get two good products for your under eyes and watch some of my videos with my 
I care. Like, you know, those mixture that I mix and I pay, I put the, the cotton pads in it and I place it over the eyes. All these remedies are rich in antioxidants. So watch the videos, use it. And I suggest that you click on my 25 day skincare challenge and any topic on the challenge that talk about I care, that is the video you watch because it's loaded with information that can help to, to, to get your on the eyes to look as mine because yes i'm wearing a little bit of a makeup right now but mine was bad like really really bad and since if you're new to my channel you don't know but i use i used to use so many things under my eyes nothing works until i start making my own remedies and that's when i start to see results and that's why i in turn share it with you okay so um stephanie is saying too much pressure with the index you can use the pinky so if you are like heavy on your hands go ahead with the pinky but if you are you know like a gentle person like you know you you know you you could use um the pinky but whatever if you're you're light if you think that the pinky apply less pressure for you go ahead and well mostly because some people not you know it's a little awkward with the pinky but whatever finger you use do not apply too much pressure just daba 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 okay so we are moving on and i'm not even following the topic tonight but as i said i come on here today to chit chat and have a good hour with you now guys we have a show every sunday as i was saying sunday chit chat with chichi beauty 4 30 p.m some requests has been coming in People want us to bring back the ice water challenge and um, I'm all down for it. Another thing that people want us to bring back is a few guests on the show. So I'm all down for it. One of the reasons why we start bringing on guests on the show is because a lot of time people sign up like, yeah, 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 I'm going to be on. I'm going to be on. And then last minute they're like, oh, I'm too shy. I don't want to come on, blah, blah, blah. So with that said the ice water challenge we are now taking application <laughs> we're now taking you know application yes i'm going to use the word application for people who want to be on the ice water challenge now once i get five to six people then we'll decide when we'll have that show so since we're getting the request for the ice water challenge then we'll definitely will do it a second time another request that i'm getting is the 25 day skincare challenge the honest truth is it is march sorry we're gonna get to the warm time and your girl might be up and about so i don't want to be committed to a 25 day skin channel challenge what i can promise you however that we're going to be bringing it back in the fall so it might be like september somewhere there we definitely will bring it back but it's not gonna be august it's not gonna be june july and august those days are you know warmer month and i'm hoping that i could bring some more content different type of content during the warmer months for you all so the 25 day skincare challenge is going to go back to around about september and as a matter of fact most of you you normally be all over the place um june july and august so when the times change children back to school and everything we do the 25 day skincare challenge okay all right so stephanie what is ice water challenge? Okay. All right. Somebody on the chat, do you want to tell Stephanie about our ice water challenge? Go ahead and share. Let me see. I know some of my subscribers are ready to answer. Go ahead and answer Stephanie on the ice water challenge. Well, um, Belinda, I notice sagging when I don't moisturize at night. That's why you need to moisturize that because my moisturizer is rich in good oils and these oils contains the vitamins and minerals that you need to help your skin to look younger and fresher and that's what that's all about you're treating your skin you're rolling back the years you're keeping your skin looking younger for longer all right so um okay so very important after you steam use cold cool water to close back the pores or if you do not use the cool water and you put your facial toner in the refrigerator you can also spritz your facial toner on your skin to have to close up back those um those pores all right so we are moving on um nazi oh yes i want the ice water challenge 
Oh, I'm down. Do that anyway. Okay, great, 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 great. All right, guys. So if you have a question, pardon my type. <laughs> okay. All right. If you have a question, see people getting excited. I'm telling you, everyone is one. Bring my eyes. What a challenge. All right. So make sure when I brought it back, you're all on here, ready to do it. Okay. So I can't wait to see, you know. So once I start, okay. So here is the email for those of you who are new. You send your email to chichibuti at gmail.com, put in the subject ice water challenge, and then we'll get back to you with, you know, the, the, the time we're going to have it. Most likely it's going to be on a Sunday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right. So we, how many of you do a facial peel? We had that in our last, um, in our last 25 days skincare challenge. So, um, Gladys want to know what is the ice water challenge is and uh, just read the comment um Gladys I would like to see Jill do the ice water challenge I know Jill is just they're quite well Jill is answering Stephanie so Jill are you gonna join us for the next ice water challenge we can't wait for that now if you're just joining this is really a pop-up show and you know um the topic is about skincare for sure like you know remedies that you can use to close up those pores which i think we just we touch at we talk about wrinkles for wrinkles on your skin you know and what else was on the topic dark on the eye circles we touch on that also so we basically cover the topic so if you have any question that you want to ask right now go ahead and ask and on this channel we post a video every day a daily video with some form of a remedy that you can use we do a lot of anti-aging on this because i'm at that age where i need that for my skin so we share a lot of that but we also share videos on how to treat the skin how to lift tighten and firm we have some amazing homemade masks on this channel and you can go on my channel page to use the channel page you click on my face below the video that is going to take you to the channel page when you get to the channel page you can click on videos or you can click on playlists if you click on playlist, it means you're looking for a special type of videos. Let's say you're looking for some videos on dark on the eye circles. You click on playlist. Let's say you're looking for a good facial scrub. You click on playlist. You're looking for an anti-aging facial mask. You click on playlist because we have playlists for all of that. Other than that, you can just scroll down to the videos and whichever one you see that might sound or look something like you'd want to watch, then you watch it. And we are encouraging you to watch our videos to at least half of the videos. That's how you show some love to the channel. And also we ask you to share. Chichi, would you change your surroundings so we could see how your skin is in the element of the outdoors? Oh, of course. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of, and I think, did I do that? All right. So Sunday is Sunday. So the summer is coming up and uh, I definitely would like to do, I'll do some videos in my backyard. As a matter of fact, I'll do some of my Sunday show in my backyard. Like tonight here, we don't have, I have one light on. <laughs> so this is a good joke guys i used to come on here and i used to come on with a whole lot of lights not knowing that this program that i'm using i think it also have lights on it so when i come on i don't have to use as much lights as i used to use i have one light on right here if i turn it off like that and i have one light up there just a little light but yes that's a good idea i am um, definitely will try to do some live show in my backyard and i and you definitely could see because i feel like um well yes i'll, I'll take you up on that you could see my skin in the air. as a matter of fact believe it or not <laughs> what you might need to ask me to do if is to come on with no form of makeup which i do a lot anyway on my skin so seeing is believing all right so i definitely i like this kind of challenge that's why i'm smiling because i'm always told that my face look better than on camera so that's what i that's why i'm smiling to you but oh yeah outside in my backyard in the summer i try to do some some videos um from from the back okay all right um we always see you indoor. It was been, yes, I know that. Yes. And we do have a few blog. I normally, the honest truth is, and let me keep it real with you. I was going to blog a lot, but then COVID happened. 
And when COVID happened, I'm basically stuck inside. I live in New York. And if you know anything about COVID and New York, you'll understand what I'm saying. And that's kind of kind of cut down on the vlogging, like, you know, going out. But I promise you all, I'm going to, things is getting back a little better now and all of that. So I can move around more freely. I have a trip coming up and I promise you all that I'm going to vlog on that trip. And I promise I'll try to bring at least a once a week you know, think to you. One more reason why sometimes I don't blog everything because I, it wouldn't be on this channel, it definitely would be on the vlog channel, but sometimes I'm a little, you know, with what I share, but I definitely will start to do that. And, you know, we have membership. For those of you who are on, subscribe to membership, the fact that I cannot get all my members together I, which I try so many times to do, what I'm going to start to do is to put that one video out. And most time I might talk about, it's going to be a mix of stuff. Okay. Sometimes it's going to be, you know, good editing. Sometimes it's not going to be, and I'm going to put that one video out there with a mix of stuff, probably my weekly little thingy for my members so that you can get to to watch it and then you'll be able to comment on that because i just cannot get all the members together for like a member show or so on and we are trying to create uh uh email just for the members okay we're trying to create an email just for the members another thing that i want to do for members is to get members phone numbers so that when we have things we can just send it out to the members of the channel because i want to be more you know to be coming i want to communicate more with the members so we so look out for that i'm going to start to have those little videos that only the members are going to allow to see those videos because it's about time that we start to communicate more with the members because there's that show that i'm waiting for that live 20 minute show with members is just not happening because everyone is in a total different time zone. All right. So what else do we have to talk about tonight? All right. Bye-bye, Stephanie. It was nice having you on the show. Have a good night. Sleep well. All right. So what else am I missing out? Okay. The daily videos, guys, please watch the daily videos and don't forget to share the videos with your friends and your family and um i just go back over um is it um fiola that's how you pronounce your name i do understand what you're saying we did start a series once <laughs> i could talk about this now we did start a series once and i actually end up stopping the series it was a series where we were more outside um you know out and about different places different areas and all of that and for some reason that series didn't go so well i won't get into the whole detail why that series did go well but yes i'm gonna start to do some little vlogging maybe when i go buy stuff for the show i might you know vlog it and put it on this and then i might put a different vlog on the vlog channel but i have a vlog channel you could check it out and if you want to see a little of me outside of sitting down and talking about skin gear all right this is my time guy my time is up thank you so much for joining I um, might have another pop-up show this week. Today is what, Tuesday? So I might have another pop-up. I plan on doing a couple of pop-ups this week. I can't keep promising and not coming on. So thank you all for watching. Go, Hi, Marla. How are you? Go and watch the video we post this morning. Don't forget to watch at least half of it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to give this one a thumbs up also. And don't forget to share. And don't forget to check out our daily video and look to see if we're gonna have a pop-up love you all and i'll see you soon bye-bye